Hi, I'm Scott Houston. In this quick video, I'm just going to teach you how to figure out what the notes are in any minor chord, no matter where you start it, on a piano, keyboard, or organ. Okay, so we're trying to figure out some way to very quickly be able to figure out the notes in a minor chord. Now, why would you ever want to know that? Well, because you might come across a minor chord symbol sometime when you're playing through a tune in the style that we teach, and, you know, you may or may not know that chord yet, and if you don't, you just need a quick and easy way to figure out what the notes are in that chord. So, I'm going to teach it to you. Just a teeny little tiny bit of theory here, but it's a piece of cake, I promise. So, here's how you do it. Now, first of all, if you don't know this yet, we've got to talk about something called a half step because that's how I, I deal with the intervals. So the deal with a half step is it's just the closest distance between any two notes, right? So if you can't get, if, the, if you're not skipping any notes, the distance between two notes is a half step. For example, from here to here is a half step, right? The reason it's not from here to here is because you've skipped over one, right? So the, the, again, the definition is not whether it's white to black or black to white or whatever. It's just the closest distance between any two notes. So for that same reason, if you're on this note and you want to go a half step higher, what note is a half step higher? Right there, it's a C, because this is one of those weird cases where there's no black note. Or similarly, if you're on this note and you want to go whatever, a half step lower, you'd go down to here because that is the closest distance. There's nothing skipping, right? Okay, so knowing that, now that we know what a half step is, here's a formula you can always use to figure out minor chords, all right? You start on whatever the name of the chord is. You know, say it's going to say C minor or D minor or F sharp minor or whatever it may be. You start on whatever that first C, D, or F sharp is. That's called the root, all right, the root of a chord. You start there, and here's the formula. Start there. To find the second note, go up three half steps. And then to find the third note, go up four more half steps. So it's R, three, four. Root, then three, then four. Let's figure it out. All right, let's do it on a C. So we're going to start on a C. We're looking for a C minor chord. We know that our, our uh, formula we're going to follow is R, three, four. So here we go. Start on the root. Go up three. One, two, three. Now go up four more. One, two, three, four. Yep, there you go. C, E flat, and G. That is the notes in a C minor chord. Ha ha! Pretty neat, huh? Ha ha! Let's try it on a F sharp. I was talking about an F sharp minor. So we'll start on an F sharp. That's our root. Okay, now again, the formula is R, 3, 4 for minor chords. So we'll go up three. Now we've got to go up four more. Four. All right. So again. Just making darn sure. There's really no, there's no secret here. I'm just making sure. So we're starting there. Count up three. One, two, three. Then count up four more. One, two, three, four. Yep. An F sharp minor chord is F sharp, A, and C sharp. So that's it. That's how you figure out a minor chord. No matter what root you want to start on, whatever that first note is, that's the R. And then you just go up three half steps and then another four. And that will always give you the notes in a minor chord. If you'd like to download a chart that has uh, all of the different formulas for different chord types in there, not just the one that we're talking about in this video, click on a link somewhere here on the video or it'll be in the description somewhere, and, and I'd be happy to, to provide you one of those, and you can get it and print it out for yourself, and hopefully that'll help you uh, with your chord type. Ta-da! <laughs> it's a real rocket science, isn't it? What can I say? It's just that simple. There's not much to it. As always, I hope you have a ball and always have fun playing piano.